I'm joined by the University of Tennessee head coach Kelly Harper, student athletes Jewel Spear, and Rakia Jackson. We'll take questions for the student athletes at this time. Uh, I know that's a really tough end, um, but for both of you, can you talk about that last quarter? Rakia, you completely went off. What was going through your mind for both of you? Um, we were just doing what we knew we could do, playing hard and, you know, staying in a fight. Um, I'm just proud of how we just continue to fight despite score, despite anything. We just continue to fight, and I'm just so proud of this group. Yeah, <clears throat> I thought we settled in pretty well um, in the second half, and we were down by a lot, but we just kept talking about, you know, cutting the lead, and uh, Kia did a really good job of finishing down the stretch as well. Other questions for student-athletes? Again, I know that's hard at the end there, but how do you bring this energy into the tournament, um, knowing that you almost cut a 23-point deficit, 23 deficit and cut their undefeated season? Just continuing to do the little things. Um, I felt like we really focused in on our defense. Um, we got the rebounds that we needed. We executed down the stretch. And um, you know, just what we did in those three quarters, how we just continued to fight, it was just great to see. Yeah, I would say pretty much the same thing. Um, you know, we've been knowing that we've been playing pretty good basketball, and I think y'all got to see that today. Um, got to see our toughness, so yeah. Pete. Jill, what happened in that first quarter and you know the start of the second quarter that where you guys got in that big hole? Were they doing something different that you hadn't seen, or how did you assess that? Um, I would say they got downhill pretty fast, pushing in transition. Uh, coach said we needed a matchup a little bit quicker, and I felt like we uh, fixed that in the second half, so they didn't get as many transition points. So we had to guard them in half court, which was better for us. All right. Any other question for the student athletes? If not, we'll let student athletes. Oh, here you go. Rikia, the clutch gene that you have, is that something you feel like you've had your entire career, or is that something you've built at Tennessee? Um, I feel like Tennessee and my teammates, they just gave me confidence. Um, you know, they put the ball in my hands, and I see them when I see them. So I feel like it's just something that the chemistry over the years have come. Um, I feel like our chemistry is just getting better and better. We're peaking at the right time. So I feel like just the confidence that my coaches and my teammates give me just put me in those moments to want to make those plays. All right. If there are no more questions for student athletes, we'll let student athletes turn to the locker room at this time. Thank you, ladies. We'll now take questions for head coach. Pete. Kelly, I mean, we asked you this after South Carolina, the fight you guys showed. I mean, that's got to say something about where this team is and what it can build on going to the rest of the postseason. Yeah, I've got a tough group in that locker room. You know, and that's um, – you can't say that's how I would have defined them earlier in the year, but they have really – taking on that challenge. And um, that was on full display today, man. That was I'm so proud of them. Um, God, I just hate that for them. I wanted that so bad for our team. Hey, Kelly, can you just take us through the defensive strategy you all had on that final position? Yeah, didn't call a timeout because they did, they did not have one. And um, I wanted Tamari to be in the paint so we, they couldn't get a pass to the paint. But obviously, and we were trying to get Rakia back there in the play. Um, but obviously, at the end of a game like that, everyone is a shooter, you, you know, because you could luck one in in that moment. So we just didn't, didn't get where we needed to, um, to to get that defended. In front. What do you take from this going into the rest of the season, both on the positive and the negative? Yeah, I think one, we we've been playing good basketball. We've been we've been tough. I think the positive is just the fight that we have. We we know what we've got inside us. I think, you know, the um, the negative would be just our start offensively. Um, we we were a little panicked. It looked like uh, a little out of sorts, but. Um, you know, we, we, we settled in um, after that first quarter, but 
you know, you have such a, st such a stagnant first quarter, it puts you in the hole. Pete. Kelly, what's the plan going forward? Do they get a couple of days off to decompress? Yeah, yes, they will. Um, I planned on being here tomorrow, so I've not looked at the schedule yet. So but we'll get them some time off this week and get ready to go. All right. Oh, we go one final question for Coach. Uh, can you speak to Rakia in that last quarter? Uh, and then also, what do you expect from her, you know, going into a, a post career? Yeah. Um, Rakia is a, a big shot maker. Um, the the moment is never going to be too big for her. Um, you know she's she's got a competitive drive and a confidence about her that gives her an opportunity for success in those moments. I'm proud of her. All right, coach. Thank you. Thank you.